Top 10 Humanoid Robots in 2022 This is getting worse. People are creating innovations that our ancestors never even dreamed of as technology advances. And one of these innovations is a humanoid robot. Basically, a humanoid robot is a robot that looks like a human. The design could be for a practical purpose, like communicating with human tools, or it could be for an experimental one, like studying bipedal locomotion, etc. In general, humanoid robots have a chest, head, two arms, two legs, but some only model a portion of the body, such as the waist. Many humanoid robots have heads that look like humans, like their eyes and mouths. That's what makes them pretty cool and incredible. So watch this video till the end, as in today's video we're going to tell the top 10 humanoid robots in 2022. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hit the like and subscribe button to turn our wish into reality. And don't forget to press the tiny little bell icon to never miss an update from us. And with that being said, let's get started. Number 10. Nadine The female humanoid social robot Nadine was inspired by Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman. The robot looks like a human with natural looking skin, hair and paws. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot who greets you, makes eye contact, and remembers all of your conversations. And depending on how you interact with it, it can answer questions autonomously in multiple languages, and it can simulate emotions with gestures and facial expressions. For facial expressions and upper body motions, Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of independence. When it remembers people it has met before, it remembers details and events. It can read stories, display videos, hold Skype sessions, send emails, and connect with other family members. In an office, it can serve as a receptionist, or it can be used as a personal coach. And in order to collect details, it has a webcam, a microphone, and a 3D depth camera to collect visual and audio input. Now let's jump on to the next one. Number 9. Junko Chihiro Junko Chihiro is a humanoid robot that is employed by Aqua City Odaiba, a waterfront shopping center in Tokyo. She's a humanoid robot developed by Toshiba using Hiroshi Ishiguro's technology. Junko Chihiro has a lot of facial expressions and a great social skill set. Visitors can also communicate with her in Japanese, English, and Chinese, which makes it easier. The Junko also has sign language, so hearing impaired visitors can also communicate with her. Using speech synthesis technology and natural language processing, she can understand and respond to tourists' inquiries correctly. I'm a late riser who doesn't wake up until 9 o'clock. I go to bed around midnight. I really love to sleep. Kanae Chihiro, which is a more sophisticated version of Junko Chihiro, can speak any language. Kanae Chihiro was designed specifically for the tourism industry, so she moves more smoothly and has better intelligence. Number 8. Jia Jia Jia, Jia is a robot created by the China University of Science and Technology. Jia, Jia is regarded as China's most beautiful woman, and her appeal is enhanced by her ability to converse with other people and react appropriately. Jia Jia compensates for her lack of smooth speech patterns with her eye movements and lip movements, putting her in the position of appearing human-like. The fact that she addresses her creators as my lord may simply be a cultural touchstone for the Chinese. Jia Jia's expressions are so realistic that special attention was paid to her eyes, so that she could react to different movements, emotions, actions, etc. Also, she has speech generation algorithms so she can converse with humans. She also has facial recognition tech so she can monitor multiple faces at once. Whenever Jia Jia saw photographers taking unflattering photos of her, she'd tell them not to make her look fat in photos. <laughs> Jia Jia's developers hope that over time her interactions will become more real and less robotic. Number 7. Erika Erika was developed by Hiroshi Ishiguro at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. She is one of Japan's most intelligent humanoids, especially noted for her speech. Although Erika cannot walk, she can interact with humans and change her expressions based on what people are saying. Erika can do this because she has 15 infrared sensors built into her eyes that can detect movement. She also has speech generation and facial recognition software, so she can monitor multiple faces in a room at once. Erika has 44 degrees of freedom in her face, neck, and waist, so she can make a lot of different facial expressions. Despite her inability to lift her arms, it is not an issue since she is a news anchor. Hiroshi Ishiguro also thinks Erika has a soul, but this is about robot metaphysics, not technology. Number 6. Viomitra Viomitra is a humanoid robot that looks like a woman and travels into space aboard Gangayan, an Indian crewed orbital spacecraft. Viomitra 
was introduced at the Human Space Flight and Exploration Symposium in Bengaluru on January 22, 2020. It will travel into space with Indian astronauts and take part in uncrewed Gangayan missions ahead of crewed spaceflight missions. Vyamitra will do microgravity tests on unmanned Gangayan flights and assist astronauts on crewed missions. It can speak Hindi and English and do lots of stuff. It is capable of imitating human behavior, recognizing other humans and responding to their inquiries. Technically, it can monitor the atmosphere and provide life support, as well as operate switch panels and provide ambient air pressure change alerts. Number 5. Geminoid DK Geminoid DK is another practical humanoid built for Hiroshi Ishiguro to get over the uncanny valley. Geminoid DK was created in 2011 to look like Al Borg University professor Henrik Schaaf, a roboticist. A total of $200,000 went into the design and construction of Geminoid DK. It's a hyper-realistic robot that used to study how humans react to seeing an android that looks like a human. Initially, the bot will stay in Japan for a few weeks to finalize testing with a human counterpart. Then, it will be shipped to Denmark to live in a special lab. Hopefully, the correct person is assigned to the plane seat. The Geminoid DK would be then used to study the emotional affordances of human-robot interaction, with a particular focus on how humans perceive robots. Number 4. Actroid Sit Actroid is a robot created by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited. It has a clear, human-like appearance. The first time it was shown off was at the Tokyo International Robot Exhibition in 2003. After that, several versions of it have been released. Most of the time, the robot looks like a typical Japanese girl. The Actroid Woman is an outstanding example of a physical computer that is identical to imaginary machines known as androids and gynoid in science fiction terms previously reserved for fictional robots. Blinking, speaking, and breathing are just a few of the realistic things it can imitate. Number 3. Shalu Shalu is an Indian humanoid robot that was created by Dinesh Patel, a computer science teacher at Kendriya Vidyale in Mumbai. Reports say the robot speaks nine Indian languages, including Hindi, Marathi, Bengali, and Bhojpuri, as well as 38 foreign languages, including English, Japanese, German. Dinesh claims the robot is handcrafted from aluminium, plastic, and other materials without any 3D printed parts to keep costs low. The robot uses Raspberry Pi and Arduino microcontrollers for computing. The robot was programmed with open source libraries like TensorFlow and Natural Language Toolkit. Danik Pasca reports that the next robot version is being made. Number 2. ASIMO The humanoid robot advanced step in innovative mobility, ASIMO, was released by Honda in 2000. Currently, it is on display in Tokyo, Japan's Miraikan Museum. On July 8th, Honda announced it would suspend all ASIMO developments and production in order to focus on more practical applications of technology developed during ASIMO's lifetime. The name was chosen in honor of Isaac ASIMO. ASIMO is 130 centimeters tall and weighs 54 kilograms. Honda Research says a mobility assistant robot's ideal height is between 120 centimeters and the average adult's height, so it can use doorknobs and light switches. ASIMO is powered by a rechargeable lithium battery that charges in one hour at 51.8 volts. In 2004, ASIMO made the switch from a nickel-metal hydride to a lithium-ion battery. This increased the amount of time it could operate between recharging cycles. It was one of the best robots at that time, and still, it is. Now finally, number one, Sophia. Sophia is a social humanoid robot that was developed by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong. She made her first public appearance at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas in mid-March 2016. She's been featured in several high-profile interviews and covered by the media all over the world. Sophia became a Saudi Arabian citizen in October 2017, making her the world's first robot to do so. In November 2017, Sophia was named the first ever innovation champion for the United Nations Development Program, making her the first non-human to receive a UN title. Sophia has cameras in her eyes and computer algorithms that let her see. She can remember people's names, keep eye contact, and keep track of their faces. She can talk and process speech with a natural language subsystem. Sophia got her legs in January 2018 and has been walking ever since. As a result, she is one of the most advanced humanoid robots ever. Anyway, that's it for the day, guys. Tell us in the comments the robot that you most liked. And if you liked the video, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And for more such content, press the bell icon. And that's us, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay safe.